there's one thing I know for certain, it's that these are not normal times. None of this is normal. Here to explain how we're influenced by retail marketers is customer experience expert and author of the customer of the future, Blake Morgan. I've identified there are three trends that have created this perfect storm where customer experience is all anybody wants to talk about. And those three trends are the experience economy. So now it is widely accepted that people value experiences over things, access over ownership. The second trend is a power shift from the company to the customer. And the third shift is technology. Technology isn't everything, but increasingly it plays a huge role in shaping our most beloved customer experiences. And the meeting was about customer service. And he had 30 executives sitting around a room and he wanted to know how long it took for a customer to reach an agent in the call center. And we all know the holidays can be a crazy time, but he asked his head of service, we'll call him John. He said, hey John, can you let me know how long it takes for somebody to reach a person on the call center? And John had that look on his face when your boss asks you something, but you really don't know the answer. And John said, um, Jeff, well, I think it's less than a minute. So Jeff says, oh really? Okay, let's see. One minute passes by, nobody answers the phone. Two minutes pass by, no call center agent. Three minutes pass by, everyone is looking pretty uncomfortable and the head of service is looking physically extremely uncomfortable. His face has turned a dark shade of beet red. He's sweating. Four and a half minutes pass by until someone picks up the phone. Hello, this is Amazon customer service. How can I help you? Jeff hangs up the phone. Shortly after this meeting, the head of service resigns. The point is, on what planet does the richest man in the world, the most recognizable CEO in the world, care that much about something so seemingly trivial as call center wait times? Most of us were unhappy teenagers. You know, you're locked in your parents' house, you have no money, no authority, so what do you do? You shut yourself in your room and you listen to really good music. And that is why the music of our teen years is so nostalgic that when we walk into a store or restaurant and we hear a song that reminds us of being 16, it's very experiential, it's very nostalgic. And Spotify knows that. And so they've created these playlists based on your age, your preferences, and a few other pieces of information, they create these time capsule playlists based on your teenage years and, and the, the miserable teenage version of yourself. And every time they release these playlists, Spotify's acquisition and retention numbers go way up because they are using AI and machine learning to create these deliciously personalized customer experiences. Something that I've noticed in the industry is that people often equate customer experience with customer service, or they think that customer experience sits in your contact center, and that's just simply not so. And Madonna told us, yes, we are living in a material world, and I'm a material girl. And so with all of this, we started to see this movement from that materialism and consumerism of the 80s, where you bought stuff to tell people who you were, to a new era of the experience economy, where now people prefer to spend their money on experiences over things. Companies, instead of seeing technology as a way to enhance the customer experience, companies have used it as a way to create space between their own brand and the customer. And so we've become technology happy, where we're forgetting what it feels like to be a customer, and we're actually torturing our customers, putting them through these experiences that we personally would not want to have. And nobody knows that better than Elon Musk. And Elon Musk early on in the early 2000s 
knew that he would have to carry the customer into the future with him because he knew that customers wanted to drive something that would make them feel sexy. They didn't want to feel dorky driving an electric car. And so he set out to create something that drove as fast as a Porsche, as beautiful as a Ferrari, and that's what he did. The power of data, machine learning, and AI has allowed companies like Netflix to tailor the content to find content that every individual user will love because their research and data shows that individuals watch really eclectic stuff. And that is the power of data, of AI and machine learning to create this content that is so delicious and personal to the user. And there's nothing special about these fish other than the fact that the fish are blind. But what is incredible about these fish is that they were not always blind. They evolved over time to become blind. And so the blind cave fish, also called the Mexican tetra fish, is 15% more energy efficient than the eye seeing fish. Those blind fish are more successful at navigating the difficult terrain of these dark caves because they were willing to evolve to become blind.